Hi guys, Julie here from Indigo Handmade Design. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this boho cardigan. It's easy to make. This is a size medium, but you can easily change the size of your cardigan by working more rows and you can also make it longer or shorter. So work more or less chains. If you want me to make more tutorials for you, please consider subscribing, liking this tutorial and also share. Okay, so to make this cardigan, you are going to need, so I'm going to use um, two different colors. This one is going to be for the cardigan and this one I'm going to use only for the border in addition to the yarn. You are going to need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So the um, yarn that I'm using it's a category three. Uh, you are also going to need some stitch markers, measuring tape, yarn needle to weave in your loose ends, and a pair of scissors. Okay, so let me clear this off and let's get started. And also, I'm going to leave you all the yarn information in the um, description box down below okay so make first two front panels okay, so for the front panel take your yarn and your 3.5 millimeter crochet hook make a slip knot and chain a total of 87 so one two three four um, keep your chain loose once you have a total of 87 chains, you are going to yarn over and uh, double crochet in your fourth chain away from the hook, like so, and then one double crochet in each chain till the end. This is going to be your first row. Okay, now let me show you one more time how the um, uh, front panel is created so we've started right here and we go down the chain by making one double crochet in each chain till the end like so and to create this shape we are going to increase in each row um, with two more stitches so this means in your last stitch you are going to make three double crochets so let me pull in a little bit okay so this is how your cardigan is going to be so to create this shape go ahead and in your very last chain so this one here make two more double crochets one and two so we are going to increase in each row by two uh, more double crochets now for the next row we are going to start with one increase so chain one chain three this is going to be your first double crochet turn your work and in the same stitch make two more double crochets so in your very first stitch not this one but this one is your very first so make two more double crochets okay and now double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row just like so and then once you're at the end of the row you are going to make your double crochet your last double crochet in your third chain and then chain three turn your work and make one double crochet in each double crochet and then once you are again at the end of the row on this side you are going to increase Okay, so um, work like this uh, for a total of 14 um, double crochet increase rows 
and then I'll meet you back to show you how to shape your front banner now as you can see it has a little bit of a V shape on this side so on this side it's going to be straight this is where you are going to attach your sleeves and on this side it's going to be the front opening okay so make your 14 rows and then i'll meet you back to show you how to work this portion okay so now once you have your 14 rows done um we are going to work on this side um 20 stitches um, in single crochet and then 10 stitches in double crochet and uh, in um, half double crochet sorry about that and the rest of the stitches are going to be worked in double crochets and we are still going to increase our work on this side and um, we are going to work for a total of six rows okay so for this you are going to chain one this doesn't count as a stitch turn your work and work single crochets for a total of 20 stitches so one two three so 20 single crochets okay. once you have your 20 single crochets you are going to take your stitch marker and mark your last single crochet like so now work for a total of 10 half double crochets And now once you have your 10 half double crochets done you are going to take your second stitch marker and place it in your last half double crochet like so now you are going to continue working your double crochets till the end and then once you're at the end of the row you are going to increase again and then start with uh, one increase and on this side you are going to work your 10 over your 10 half double crochets you are going to work half double crochets and over your 20 single crochets you are going to work single crochets so work like this for six rows in total and then once you have your front panel done it's going to look like this like this and you are going to have from the side to the front opening a total of 20 um, uh, rows okay and now for the back panel you are going to start the same as your front panel but of course you don't have a opening in the middle so it's work from one side to the other um, and for the back panel you are going to work a total of 22 so not 20 but 22 increase rows and then on the other side you are going to work 22 decrease rows so go ahead and start the same work your 22 double crochet increase rows and then i'm going to show you how to decrease on this yeah. side okay? okay so now to make your decreases once you have your 22 rows done uh, you are going to start um so your next row um and once you're here almost at the end of the row you have this three stitches left so this three double crochets one two and this is the third one where i put the stitch marker in now we are going to um, double crochet three together so yarn over 
in the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go in the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and again, yarn over, and in your last stitch, so this one here is going to be your last stitch, your third chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, you have now four loops on your hook, you are going to yarn over and pull through all of your uh, four loops. Now on the other side you are going to start with one decrease, so for this you are first going to chain two, turn your work and this chain 2 corresponds to this stitch right here. Now you are going to um, double crochet a three together again. So you already have one, two and three. Yarn over, pull through all of your loops. Take your stitch marker and mark this first stitch. So um, this way it's going to be easier once you are on your um, turning row. You know, on this side, these are the last three double crochets that you need to decrease. Okay, so work like this again for a total of 22 rows. Once you have this done, is your um, also your back panel it's finished and it's time to start with the sleeves. Okay, so to make your sleeves, um, you are going to make of course two of them. You are going to start with a chain of 52 and you are going to increase for a total of 14 rows and then on the other side you are going to decrease for a total of 14 rows so basically it's almost the same as the back panel um, okay so go ahead and make your sleeves and meet me back Okay, so now lay your front and your back panels like so and make your shoulder seams and after that make put your sleeves on the side and sew them onto your front and onto the back panel and after that make your side seams and also um, sew your sleeves together. Okay, so once you have your sewing done you are going to work one row of single crochet all around your cardigan with your second colors and your 3.5 millimeter crochet hook so make first a slip knot and rejoin down here at the corner and you are going to single crochet in each double crochet around and at the bottom you are going to make two single crochets in each double crochet row so in your double crochet rows you are going to make two single crochets so i'm going to work around and i'm going to meet you back right here where the side seam is to show you how to work from one side to the other Okay, so this is my side seam, so I have one row of double crochet on this side and run one row on the other side, so you are just going to single crochet two in this row, side seam, leave untouched and jump over to your next double crochet row on the back panel and make your two single crochets just like so okay so i'm going to uh, finish this row and then meet you back at the end of the round you are going to slip stitch to your very first stitch 
like so, to close this round. Okay, now next we are going to work only on the, on the bottom um, of the cardigan. So for this, chain 3, this counts as your first double crochet and then chain 2 more. This counts as your 2 chain space in between your double crochets. Turn your work. So this is your first stitch. Now you are going to yarn over, skip two, and in the next make one double crochet. And now you are going to chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. Chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. Okay, work like this all the way down the bottom of your um, cardigan and then I'll meet you back again once I'm on the other side of the front panel. Okay, now for the next row, you are going to chain five. This counts as your first double crochet and a two chain space in between. Turn your work, yarn over, skip the next stitch and in the next make one double crochet chain two skip one double crochet in the next chain two skip one double crochet in the next okay so i'll meet you back at the end of the row uh, just a quick look on how to work when you are on the back panel in the middle of the back panel so you have this double crochet here now you are going to chain two and make another double crochet in the same stitch like so and now chain two skip the next and double crochet the next so to create again this uh, pointy part on the back panel okay this is how you are going to work okay now next row you are going to chain five again counts as a double crochet and a two chain space in between now we are going to double crochet in this um, first stitch right here and now chain two again and in this next um, Instead of double crocheting in the next double crochet, we are going to double crochet in this two chain space, chain two, and now make your double crochet on top of your next double crochet, like so. And now chain two, double crochet on top of your double crochet, chain two, and repeat, work like this. Um, and once you are again on the uh, back panel, in the middle of the back panel, you are going to make your double crochet on top of the double crochet and then chain two, double crochet in your two chain space, chain two, double crochet in your two chain space, chain two, double crochet on top of your double crochet. Okay, now the next row, you are going to chain six. Turn your work. And we are going to single crochet um, in this two chain space. So you are going to skip this two chain space and single crochet in the next two chain space. Like so. Chain five. Skip the next two chain space and single crochet in the next. Chain five. Skip one two chain space, single crochet in the next. Now you are going to chain nine. And you are going to skip two, two chain space and single crochet 
in the next see and now we are going to start repeating from here so chain five skip one two chain space single crochet in the next chain five skip two chain space single crochet in the next chain nine skip two two chain space and single crochet in the third one okay so repeat till the end of the row at the end of the row you are going to chain three and double crochet on top of your third chain on, to on top of this one here okay okay next row you are going to chain three this counts as your first double crochet and then turn your work and inside of this three chain space you are going to make eight double crochets so one two three four five six seven and eight and now you are going to single crochet in your next chain space like so and now you are going to chain five so one two three four and five and now hold this uh, last chain with your finger like so and chain or maybe you can take a stitch marker so I'm going to take a stitch mark marker just to show you now you are going to chain 19 one two three you've chained now 19 now go back in this fifth chain right here and make a single crochet like so now chain five and single crochet in your next chain space this one here see I'm going to take the stitch marker out now in this nine chain space you are going to make a total of 17 double crochets So 17. Okay, once you have your 17 double crochets done, you are going to go to your next chain space and make your single crochet. And now you are going to repeat from here to here. So first five double crochets, the, uh, excuse me, uh, five chains, then chain 19, single crochet in your fifth chain chain another five and single crochet and your 17 double crochet so i'm going to work this one with you again so chain five and now chain 19 And now single crochet in your fifth chain so one two three four five you are going to single crochet in here and chain five single crochet in your next chain space and double crochet in your next chain space so 17 double crochets 
we are going to end up this row with nine double crochet in this last chain here okay to start your next row you are going to chain one it doesn't count as a stitch turn your work and make one single crochet on top of each double crochet so you are going to have nine single crochets And now we are going to jump right to this loop here and inside of the loop we are going to make five double crochets now chain three five double crochets chain three five double crochets chain three and five more double crochets And now without chaining you are going to make one single crochet on top of each double crochet so you are going to have 17 single crochets and then jump right to this loop and make your sequence of five double crochets um, with a three chain space in between and repeat this till the end of the okay, row okay now for the next row go ahead and chain one it doesn't count as a stitch turn your work and make one single crochet in your next three stitches so this is your first one second and your third single crochet and now you are going to double crochet in this three chain space so um, 11 double crochet in this first three chain space and 11 now you are going to single crochet on top of your third double crochet of this next group here so one two this is your third double crochet you are going to make one single crochet in there now in this three chain space you are going to make 13 double crochets and 13 now you are going to single crochet in your third double crochet of your next double crochet group so one two and three make one single crochet and now you are going to make 11 double crochet in this three chain space like here so one two three so 11 okay and now you are going to make right here in the middle five single crochets so this is the single crochet so you are going to count one two three four five six and start with seven so 
So single crochet in there. One, two, three, four, and five. And now in these three chain spaces, you are going to repeat. So 11 double crochets and then single crochet right here in the middle. 13 double crochets, single crochet right here in the middle and 11 double crochets. Okay, so this is going to be your repeat till the end of the row. Okay, so to end up this row, you are going to single crochet on top of your last three stitches. So one, two and three. Now to start your next row and your last, you are going to chain one, this doesn't count as a stitch, single crochet in your first two stitches and now you are going to skip this first double crochet here and then single crochet in each of your next double crochet from the previous um, row So you are going to have 10 single crochets and now you are going to single crochet on top of your single crochet right okay. here and now we have this group of 13 uh, double crochets now we are going to make the um, pico around this uh, group here so you are going to single crochet in your first double crochet now you are going to chain three and slip stitch into your first chain like so and single crochet in the next so we are going to repeat this two more times again single crochet in the next chain three slip stitch single crochet and one more time single crochet in the next double crochet chain three slip stitch to your first chain single crochet in the next so you have now three pico now um, on top of this double crochet right here so you are going to single crochet in there so in your next double crochet and now you are going to chain three and make one double and now make two double crochets in the same stitch so one and two chain three And slip stitch in the same stitch like so now we are going to make our three picots on the other side so single crochet in the <laughs> next chain three slip stitch to your first chain single crochet in the next and repeat two more times Okay, once you have your three picots done, you have these 11 double crochets here. You are going to single crochet in each of your first six stitches. So single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you are going to go to your next um, group of double crochets so chain one and you have here also 11 um, stitches so you are going to skip your first five stitches so one two three four five and single crochet in the next and in the next five. So
So you are going to have again a total of six single crochets. Two, three, four, five, and six. Single crochet right here. And now you are going to work the same. So your picots and in the middle, um, chain three to double crochet, chain three and slip stitch, again picot, single crochet, um, six single crochets and repeat till the end of the row and you are going to end up your row as you've started. So you are going to single crochet. So let me show you on this side. So you are going to make this part with your picots and then you are going to single crochet in your next 10 stitches and then single crochet in these two last single crochets here. Okay. Okay, so here is um, one of my finished slips. As you see, I fold it like so. And um, also go ahead and sew your sleeve on top. So I've worked one row of single crochet all around the sleeve opening and then one row of pico with um, three single crochets in between my picots. Now to make this flower, go ahead and take your second yarn and your uh, your um, 3.5 millimeter hook, make a slip knot and chain a total of 21. Now chain three more. This counts as your first double crochet and make in your fourth chain away from the hook two double crochets. We are going to increase all the way down the chain. So in the next chain make three double crochets. And then in the next chain three double crochets and meet me back once you have this done. Okay, so this is what um, you are going to have. Now we are going to fold this like so, like a flower. Just like so. And now go ahead and take your yarn needle and thread your yarn needle with the longer tail you have left like so and now we are going to sew our flower in place so make sure that you are going through all these stitches so that your flower is not going to come undone and now once you have this done Try sewing the start of your double crochets just to tackle them down like so and now take your sleeve and make sure you are not sewing through your uh, whole sleeve and place the flower where you want it to be and with a few stitches sew your flower onto the sleeve just like so and then you're done weaving all of your loose ends so i'm now at the end of my tutorial thank you all for watching and for joining me today if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below this video and i see you soon with a new one bye bye